in last in last lecture we learned that adsorption or attachment of a you know, virus over the envelope and non envelope viruses are binding at the host cell through the ligands and some are might be in through the adsorption is possible through the uh, spikes which are present over the envelope of a virus the non envelope viruses they will completely uh, uh, covers with the like the host cell wall and they will get dissolves inside, inside the cell wall and they will get penetrated into the host cell so this is the uh, what we learned in adsorption and attachment in last lecture then penetration it is possible by uh, possible by through the virus to the host cell it is entry of a genetic matter into the cytoplasm of the host by through the receptors it is called, called possible possible by viropexis it is endocytosis it involves so in the non envelope viruses there is receptor mediated through that endocytosis will occur then envelope viruses they may fuse with the membranes non envelope viruses <coughs> delivers the nucleic acid genome directly to, to the cytoplasm then uncoating today we will go for uncoating this is the process of stripping the virus of the outer layers and capsid so that nucleic acid is released into the cell it means that it is a step involved in when the cytoplasm enters into the it is a step of uncoating of a nucleic acids when the cytoplasm when cytoplasm receives the viral nucleic materials the nucleic materials are uncoated the process of stripping of virus of the outer layers and capsid so that nucleic acid is released into the cell with the most viruses uncoating is affected by lysosomal enzymes might be the bacteria the host cell may consist of a lysosomal enzymes lysosomal enzymes which may brings the destruction of a foreign microorganism but viral virus is unaffected by lysosomal enzymes of the host cell the genome of dna except the pox viruses must be delivered into the nucleus whereas most rna viruses remain in the cytoplasm dna viruses jo bhi hain they are accepted those are accepted pox viruses and delivers the nucleus into the cytoplasm but rna viruses remains in the cytoplasm means here uncoating it means the nucleo capsid capsid what it exist over the cell uh, of the uh, of the virus which re receives the which receives the viral genetic matter towards the cytoplasm this, this will get uncoats but this uncoating is phenomenon is not naturally will occurs this is unaffected by the lysosomal enzymes which are present in the host cell of a host cell the genetic matters of a dna viruses except pox viruses they delivered into the nucleus it means the dna viruses except pox viruses the genetic matter of virus of the dna will delivers towards the nucleus of a host cell 
but RNA viruses, genetic matter remain inside the cytoplasm. So, my understanding is, see, this is a host cell. This is a host cell, and prephase bacteria, or bacterial viruses, they will bind over the host cell of a host cell, and they will eject out. They will eject out the content of nucleic materials into the cytoplasm. So the releasing of agentic matters into the host cell that is the uncoating. This means the capsids which are present, they will get uncoated and the release of agentic matter into the cytoplasm of the host cell but this cytoplasm this cytoplasm of a host cell may consist a lysosome what they consist they may consist lysosome lysosomes these lysosomes they may break down the other foreign microorganisms but they are ineffective to the viral genome means that these lysosome enzymes doesn't affects the viral genetic matter usually usually what happens the dna viruses dna viruses dna viruses transmits the transmit the genetic matter to the to the to the to the host host nucleus kayoto dna viruses cha genetic matter host cha nucleus madhe ja except except konta pox viruses except pox viruses but same rna viruses they remain in the Host cytoplasm, but they won't enter the won't enter the nucleus of the host cell. So this is the difference of DNA and virus and RNA virus interaction inside the cytoplasm of a host cell. See biosynthesis here. Biosynthesis it means that formation of formation of formation of viral nucleic viral DNA or RNA. RNA in the host cell. This formation of DNA or RNA in the host cell, that is the meaning of biosynthesis. In this slide, see when the entry of viral DNA or RNA enters into the cytoplasm of the host cell that includes the synthesis of viral nucleic acid and capsid proteins and certain enzymes what will happen when the dna of a virus enters into the host cytoplasm and 
it seizes it seizes the synthesis of host protein and starts the formation of start the formation of a nucleic acid of virus capsid protein and enzymes which are required for the virus those are started in this biosynthesis carried this in this biosynthesis carried out by different stages of viral synthesis a regular regulator it is a regulator of proteins are also synthesized that is called as a false proteins what these are false proteins false proteins are forms false proteins are forms these false proteins are starts to initiation of formation of dna or rna and enzyme formation enzyme formation inside the host in the host organism and seizes or shut down the host mechanism it means that the host cell feels like these false proteins are the proteins which are essential for host but actually these proteins are works for only viral genetic matter synthesis and viral enzyme synthesis and they shut down the host host machinery even though it is false proteins they will keep active the host cellular metabolism and synthesizes the only viral nucleic acid okay it means that a host see host cell when it receives the one minute this is a host cell when it receives the viral genome inside the host cytoplasm this host cytoplasm accepts the or collects the viral dna or rna this viral dna what it will do it will starts or releases the false protein what they will do this viral dna releases false protein these false protein seizes seizes host seizes or halts 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 host host protein synthesis protein synthesis and starts viral protein synthesis it means that viral dna viral dna or rna and proteins are synthesized in host 
in host but same time the host doesn't understood are the host doesn't know viral dna or rnas are synthesizing it feels like that its own protein synthesis is carried out in their host hence for this reason unknowingly host is growing the viral cells inside the cytoplasm of host cell and leads to formation of viral components in the host cytoplasm so this is the what about biosynthesis of a viral genetic matter into the host cell okay yes sir we'll see the next slide the steps involved in biosynthesis see konte konte steps ahet biosynthesis se tar transcription of messenger rna rrna Mess sorry transcription of messenger RNA that is mRNA message दे तो उड़ा करो viral nucleic acid जे कि अलेलास तो cytoplasm में दे तो viral nucleic acid message दे तो पंते RNA दोरे mRNA mRNA messenger message दे तो 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 यम आर एन ए चा मैसेज ट्रांसलेट हो तो मैसेज का हो तो ट्रांसलेट हो तो अर्ली प्रोटीन इट विल ट्रांसमिट द मैसेज टू द अर्ली प्रोटीन दिस अर्ली प्रोटीन विच इनिशिएट्स अर्ली प्रोटीन का करता स्टार्ट करता इनिशिएट करता and maintaining the maintain the synthesis of viral component the message which is given by the transcripted message given by the mrna that message is get translated in the host metabolism uh, host cytoplasm that message is translated by rna and that message is decoded and starts the that message is like this start the synthesis of viral component proteins when the viral component proteins are get synthesized then automatically viral nucleic acid will starts the formation that is a replication of viral nucleic acid then formation of late structural proteins these are the components of daughter virion capsids inside the host cytoplasm okay we will see in the next slide then maturation once the late proteins forms and formation of a daughter cells of virus inside the cytoplasm and they will becomes increasing in the size there is a maturing assembly of the virus components and they become virions in a short period of time and there is a replication of viral nucleic acid inside the cytoplasm they it may take place in either the nucleus or in the cytoplasm it means the dna viruses enters into the 
nucleus of a host cell or rna virus nucleic materials of uh, rna virus they may remain in the cytoplasm of cytoplasm of the host cell in this case envelope viruses they develop envelope that in the development of envelope is possible with the help of host material host cell nuclear membrane they use that is nuclear membrane or they we may be use plasma membrane it means that the unnecessary guest will come he will enter he will stay in the host and he starts the synthesizing the proteins unknowingly but the host cell is in the sleeping state automatically the formation of a daughter cell and they are developed with the help of with the help of only host cell but still formation of maturation of viral inside the host cell the host cell doesn't know whether there is a formation of virus inside its in its cytoplasm see how it is the nature there is a formation maturation the envelope is also forms by with the help of the nucleic membranes or cell plasma membranes of the host cell till that till that host cell don't know whether their cytoplasm is consists the virus such a things is happening happens in this in this nature next maturation then release automatically when the virus is achieves the maturity it can be released to the environment for next infection of host cell they are ready at the time they will release out from the host cell how they will get burst out they will kill the host cell by lysis of a cell wall of a host cell it can be achieved by exocytosis or by budding or they rupture the cell wall those viruses what they releases naked nucleic capsid may release by the lysis of host cell they are ready to make a infection for another host cell for the growth of their progenies for their progenies for their progenies they may be forms by but budding or by lysis by killing the host cell okay see how it is the mechanism occurs see this is a virion envelope virus envelope envelope virus it will comes toward nearer to the see this to na this is an virus when it reaches to the when it reaches to the host cell it is become a virion when it is attaches the envelope is will get dissolves with the cell wall of a host cell entry of entry of viral dna or rna into the cytoplasm of the cytoplasm of the host cell host cell then when it will certain dna viruses enters into the nucleus or rna viruses they may remain in the cytoplasm, cytoplasm. see when they enters into the nucleus till that when they will come into the nucleus they will stops the protein synthesis of host cell by entering giving the message of messenger rna 
which is yet translated, transcripted to start the formation of early protein. That early proteins, early proteins brings the formation of a nucleic acid, then formation of a false proteins, false proteins and late proteins. It will means that the formation of a nucleus and nucleic materials and late proteins brings the formation of a complete viral daughter cells inside the cytoplasm of a nucleus. In nucleus itself, these are forms. This DNA, in D DNA viruses, they completely forms inside the nucleus and they will release out. They release out by by budding. The viruses are released out by through the budding into the environment. Or RNA viruses, when they will enter into the when they enter into the host cell, same initial proteins, early proteins, late proteins, formation of nucleic replication, uncoating, assembly formation, and there is a bursting of cell wall and leads to death of the cell, host cell, and release of new progeny viruses into the environment. So this is the attachment, penetration, replication, biosynthesis, and release of a progenies into the environment. Either DNA virus, it is an envelope virus, or non-envelope viruses, how they are entering and how they are replicating, and they are releasing by budding or by lysis of the post cell. Okay.